The Dean Phillips candidacy is something that we'd like to ask you about, but I wonder just about here in New Hampshire, because of the changing order and the discord that took place with the DNC, would you support recognizing New Hampshire delegates at the convention when you get there? Well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, I leave the rules and regulations for this up to the Rules Committee. Years ago, uh, I went before that uh, Rules Committee and made the case for South Carolina to be in the pre-primary window. Uh, we got there, and we were fourth. But, you know, I, I joke with people a lot that my uh, favorite uh, sport growing up was baseball. And uh, we were in fourth place, and, you know, the, uh, the best hitter in baseball is usually the cleanup hitter, and he's in the fourth place. So I said that, you know, I was pleased with fourth place. We were cleaning up stuff. Uh, but uh, Joe Biden made the decision uh, that South Carolina should go first. I support that. The Rules Committee looked at everything, agreed with that, and um, I think we should all play by the rules. Well, Congressman Phillips certainly had thoughts about the decision to for the president to skip over New Hampshire, but something else he told us, and it's something, Congressman, that he has said consistently, is that Biden is weak, he is unelectable, and that that is dangerous if the goal is to keep Trump out of the White House in 2024. Is Biden a strong enough candidate when we see that he is losing support among key demographics, black voters included? Well, I would say to Dean Phillips, as I've said to people over the years, people tend to, for some reason, misconstrue kindness for weakness. Joe Biden is a kind gentleman. Here in the South, we put a value on kindness and on being a gentleman. People who are bombastic uh, may get a lot of headlines, but they don't get much uh, headway. Joe Biden has made tremendous headway as president of these United States. If you look at his record with the Rescue Act, with the uh, infrastructure bill, the Chips and Science Act, Inflation Reduction Act, the PAC Act. We have had more productive legislation coming out of this presidency than any Democrat since Lyndon Johnson's Great Society back in 1965. And that's a fact. So when you are of that But Congressman, productive... what if... I'm sorry? But what if that fact is not resonating with black voters, with Hispanic voters, with young voters, these groups that helped propel him to the White House in 2020 don't necessarily seem to think he has been as successful as a president as the picture you're painting. So what needs to change here? How does he attract them back? Well, we have to uh, compete with misinformation, disinformation. Uh, we have a different world to operate in today than we had before. And we all know that. We know uh, what happened to Hillary Clinton. We know uh, what happened uh, last year uh, with all uh, of the disinformation uh, that took place. And that's what we are uh, competing with. We're going to get there. We're doing better now. Uh, and I think we'll do better uh, when we go one-to-one -one, uh, in the general election. Because I think Joe Biden is going to be uh, our nominee with strong votes in this primary. And when we go to one with whomever comes out the Republican uh, on the Republican side, and I think we are going to be successful in November. Congressman Clyburn, we'll all get to South Carolina, but we're still in New Hampshire. And I wonder your thoughts on what's about to happen here tomorrow. The conventional wisdom is Donald Trump is somehow easier to beat if it does end up being, as all seem to think, a Trump-Biden campaign, a rematch. Do you believe that as Nikki Haley tries for her last stand? Well, you know, I don't uh, tend uh, to take anything lightly in the campaign. You've got to run uh, through, as one of my daughters would say to me all the time, run through uh, the, uh, uh, the table. We are here to determine who is the weakest or the strongest, we're here to put forth our record mm -hmm. to the American people and make sure that we run through the tape. 
And that's what we're going to do. We aren't going to let up in any way. We aren't going to measure okay. who may be uh, the fastest or the best. We are going to run hard and run through the tape. Well, Nikki Haley was your governor. Do you think she can yeah. beat Donald Trump? Well, uh, you know, I would hope that the Republican voters <laughs> will recognize uh, what Trump, what threat Trump is to this democracy. And I don't think that Nikki Haley is that same threat. I don't think anybody in, on the Republican side, say if maybe Ron DeSantis, he seemed to try to get to the mm -hmm. right of Donald Trump. That's not what this country needs. You know, when I was studying history way back yonder, I remember Alexis de Tocqueville once saying, now, some people said he didn't say it. He gets credit for having said, America is great because its people are good. And if the people of America ever cease to be good, America will cease to be great. Mm. That's what we're dealing with here. The goodness of this country and the greatness that flows from that. And we've had these candidates like Trump and DeSantis that seem to have lost basic goodness. And that, to me, is what the Republican voters ought to face up to. And they seem to not want to do that. Congressman, when you listen to Nikki Haley, she says that it's not just about Biden, but about the vice president, that everyone should fear a president, Kamala Harris. How should the Biden campaign be thinking about utilizing her, be thinking about pitching her as vice president just as much as him for president? You know, uh, when I saw that come from Nikki Haley, I was very, very disappointed. Uh, because that's, to me, is a dog whistle. Uh, this is all uh, about someone trying to instill fear in people, uh, people who fear uh, Kamala Harris. She is nobody to fear. She is a red-blooded American woman who has preparation that few women uh, have, and she ought to be treated with dignity and respect, and I really feel that that is a source of basic, uh, just not goodness.